everybody's doing a great job of standing up straight. One quarter of all adults over the age of 60 fall every year. And we know that falls are sort of that beginning state that sometimes leads to further complications. The patients that I see in the clinic that haven't done this program, I think it would help them because a lot of the questions they ask is things that are is addressed in this class. Really rewarding for me as far as um, I might be working with these people in the hospital, maybe they have fallen in the past. Really encourage them to come to this class and then you just see their confidence bloom and you then you start seeing them out in the community, you know, back at church, down at the grocery store, maybe at a, you know, a ball game or something. Thing. So that, that part's really fun. I see them growing not only in their strength but also in their confidence, their self-assurance, you know, being able to get out, they're talking about the things that they're doing. Being a leader is a lot of fun. I've taught this class several times and I always learn something new from the participants. <laughs> I would say, you know, it's, it's a great way to give back to their community and obviously you learn right along because there's not one of us that can't, that can't gain some more strength, more balance. Oh, I think it's a great just community resource. So the more people that can put the classes on for that population, the better. And I think the rural communities more so because they don't have the assisted livings and the other options for people that they have in a bigger community. So the smaller towns, you, you know, if they want to stay in that town, they basically have to stay in their home. I know that in our rural community, just like many rural communities, they have um, isolation is a big issue. And when people are afraid of falling, they don't leave their homes and isolation leads to depression. So when I go to church or other community events, I see these folks and I know that they're getting out and about because they've got the confidence to do so. Communities need this, they want it, and there are parts of North Dakota that are not served by the program. If they haven't heard of it or they've heard of it but they don't have it in their community, we hope that they reach out to somebody and figure out how they can get involved in becoming a class leader because we're always, we want to grow this program. We want The more class leaders we have, the easier everyone's job is. And you're going to step with your next foot, toe in front of the heel. Good. 